All right, so today's awesome video is brought to you by letter B for brakes. What's going on is uh, it's coming down a big hill, and I was um, getting what I felt was thought I thought was back pressure um, from the exhaust. So I turned down my radio and stuff and the AC, and I realized that I was having I could hear some exhaust, but then I was pulling into my driveway and it made this weird noise coming from here. So I immediately popped off my tire and took a look and realized that not only was my caliper completely um, compressed outward, it's locked up. Um, I've tried the tool, I have a brake caliper tool, didn't work. Tried everything, thought maybe it was the line. It's pinched, it's at like a weird angle. Whatever. Look at it and the pads are just gone. <laughs> gone. So there's one pad. Nice uneven wear. And there's the other one. So they're done for. And as far as these calipers, when I did the uh, the rear disc brake swap, I got these from like I think the guy said it was a '93 Civic, '92 '95 Civic DX sedans. Come with these guys, so I threw these on here, and I never replaced the calipers. When I got them, I bought brand new ones. When I did all lines, I did uh, brand new calipers on the front, but not on the back. So, that being said, I called up my friend Jeff Bezos. He was kind enough to, uh, actually he sent these like two days. And, you know, I ordered them one day, waited a day, and they came the next one. Uh, very dear friend of mine. Uh, I highly recommend his store. So I got a kit with the calipers and the brake pads, came with all the, um, the fittings and whatnot, and uh, even extra bolts, um, nice banjo bolts and uh, crush washers, extra cap, bleeding caps and whatnot, and I got the uh, stop tech. This is for the sedans. Do a brake swap on the sedan. That's what I got, this part number right here. It's also good for like 2001 Acuras and like just a whole bunch of cars are really good. I thought it was going to be really small, but I held this out and it's actually longer than the OE brake line. So I'd be very happy with that. Finally get that under control. So I'm going to pop these guys off and see where that gets us. Got the other sides all ready to go as well. So boom. All right. So the first thing we did was take the two 12 millimeter bolts out of the top and the bottom down here. Just like that. There's a little cotter pin that goes in right there into that dude, uh, clip that, pull that out, use a screwdriver or something to pop this up, and your e-brake is free of the cable. You can see you still got a mount that needs to go through there, and right here on this guy, see? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking that guy off. I'm going to uh, use my handy dandy 10 millimeter open wrench, break that guy down, and get from there. All right, so this guy, this round part right here, literally just slides right through there. You just gotta get it at the right angle and slip right through. And then boom, just comes right off. And back here you got two 14 millimeter bolts. And then there, one up here. Pull those guys off and then the caliper will come straight out, in theory. All right, got it all off. And I'm ready to throw this guy on there. All right, so I got this guy all back on here. Um, let's turn my light off. So I got the stainless steel hose hooked back up, clips back in there. There's a new rotors on, new calipers on. It's currently just kind of gravity bleeding. Um, got the bolts all crushed down, everything's good and tight, greased. Calipers back on there, looking good. Just gonna let it gravity feed and gonna hop on the other side now. Woohoo! 22 minutes. Took me 22 minutes from start to finish. Get everything all on there. Lines back on, e brakes back on, cotter pins in. It's currently draining. Um, giving it a little bit of free flow. I was checking out my master cylinder and I looked at it and upon looking in the I opened it up and I saw this black shit and I was like, ugh. And I looked in here and I was like, ugh. So I threw the filter. And there, yuck. That is gnarly. A bunch of bad, bad things. So I have this older, this other one that I bought. 
Back only one for like 55 bucks. It's good to go. I don't know what I did with the master cylinder part of it, but there it is. I'm gonna blinch bleed that, throw that guy on there, and get this newer one on there. It's not as big, but I think it's the same internally, volume wise. So, yeah, let's get that going. Look at that beautiful, new, shiny, clear liquid. It is not brown, with a bunch of black stuff, clouds floating around in it. Uh, so, what I did was. Um, but I put the, the little guy back on there. Um, but I tried pushing it through. I must have like got some air. It must have got some air in there. So I pulled it back off, re-bench blood it, kept it nice and full the whole time. And uh, in the meantime, I thought, ah, I wonder if I can clean this out. Um, looks pretty uh, ish. I think it's way better than it was. So I think I am going to reuse it. Just because I am rolling with the four... Um, the four disc brakes. And the proportion... The 40-40 or the 40, 40 proportioning valve. Uh, is meant for a little bit bigger of this guy. I'm not sure. I mean... Yeah. It's definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. Um... This is the one that came on it, the 91, or the 1990EX. I don't know if they changed this out at some point, because this car, if you watch the video, has been a nightmare as far as whoever owned it before me. It wasn't a little old lady that I was hoping for, I'll tell you that much. But, uh, yeah, I turned it over and started doing a bunch of stuff, and it was just smoking. Obviously, spilt a bunch of crap everywhere, so I got the fan out now. So, now I'm going to uh, put this guy back on there. I'm going to debate for a couple of seconds, and then I guess you'll find out in about half a second which one I picked. All right, well I chose. <laughs> I took the uh, shitty old rusty gross ring off of this one and put the nice the nice one from the smaller on there. Um, clean it out a little bit more. Clean that out a little bit more. I think that'll be pretty. It, I just like the way it sits in there more. It looks nicer, it's a little more low profile. Pretty sure it's the same volume, but um, I don't really care, I want this one, so this is what I'm going for. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of like reading on it as far as any part numbers or anything I can see, so I can't tell you. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there and get this guy buttoned up here. Well, I went with the big one. Got it all nice and cleaned up. Put it on there. Um, it's bench blood as best as I can get it. Now I'm going to uh, call for my assistant, my lovely assistant, um, T-Core, to come help me press my breakage. And we're going to see if we can't get these blood. Alright, just wrapping up. Got it all bled. Doing uh, great. Everything's back on. Put back together. Everything's nice and bled. And pumping good. Drove around the block a couple times. Seems to be working appropriately. So there we go. Brand new big pad, rotors, um, calipers, and brake lines. And master cylinder, apparently. <laughs> Alright, until the next breakdown.